Hi, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is another hidden game design mechanic, uh, which is kind of one of the extended um, parts of the series on Make Your Own Mobile Game in 60 Minutes. Uh, Make Your Own Mobile Game in 60 Minutes is that video series on YouTube that you might have seen on pretty much how to make your own mobile game in under 60 minutes. It's an actual interactive lab that shows you how to code and finish everything in 60 minutes. So, um, you know, this talk is sponsored by chromacoders.org, which is a club to help students make their own games. Now, when I first uh, gave the talk, uh, this talk at universities, I was actually covering all these hidden game design mechanics to the students. And, um, you know, they thought it was all right, but they weren't excited because they really didn't know how to apply these mechanics because there was no interactive lab and actually showing them how to do it. So I modified the talk uh, at the university so that I would focus on just the core game design concepts in mobile and actually have an interactive lab where they finished their very first simple game and that worked a lot better. But to do that I had to cut out all this hidden game design mechanic stuff and so I put that in a book that's now on Amazon called Mobile Game Design and what I'm doing now is I'm actually like you know every few weeks hopefully I will put put together a little uh, video talk on some of these hidden game design mechanics that you'll be able to use to make a successful game. Now they're the core game design mechanics that we talk about, the simple mechanics on mobile like touch, um, vibration, and um, you know accelerometer, but there are these hidden game design mechanics. These are the game design mechanics that are really used to make huge successes on mobile. So while you can have an understanding of the basic game design mechanics on mobile, it's really these hidden game design mechanics that makes your game stand out. And, uh, and that's what we're going to do when we cover these series is hopefully give you these game design mechanics that you can use to make compelling and interesting and novel types of games. And so this uh, hidden game design mechanic is called the drawing mechanic. And um, for those of you that have these smartphones and these tablets, you may have heard of a, a drawing game that's gotten tens of millions of downloads and definitely I just wanted to cover this mechanic. To, to ride off the coattails of that success, you understand how you can use that mechanic in your own games. And uh, so we'll just call it Hidden Game Design Mechanic number 97. And let's, okay, one second, let's get this going. Okay. Uh, as I said, it's from the mobile game design book that you can find on Amazon. Now, part of the goal of this hidden game design mechanic tutorial is actually show you how to apply these mechanics. Not just talk about it, but apply it. So, once again, we're going to use Corona. <coughs> so, if you go to anskamobile.com, uh, you know, this uses the Corona API. This is really a very powerful API that, or, or tool that allows you to make a mobile game in about, uh, you know, very quickly. And so, the example we're going when we do the coding session here, we're going to be using the Corona API or the Corona SDK to actually show off a drawing example. And what's cool about the Corona community is that uh, first of all, it's very active. But there's an option, there's a place where there's a code repository, and this is where really nice members of the community have added code that you can use in your game. And one of those things that that have been added um, is kind of a drawing, a, a little drawing module that you can use. Uh, let me see if we can find it here. <coughs> uh, let's see. Okay, maybe you can do a search there. And, uh, okay, drawing undo. Okay, so if you do a search, you'll be able to find it in one of these places. But what I've done is I've actually given you a direct URL here which is developer.anskamobile.com slash code slash easy dash finger dash drawing dash undo dash functionality. Um, you can just paste that in here into your browser. And what you'll do is you'll see now uh, this really nice um, code exchange entry, which has the code to easily uh, add a drawing mechanic to your game. And so what you do is you just copy the code base right here. Okay, so you copy it. And now what we're going to do is control C, copy. Uh, we have our own little folder. Let's make a drawing mechanic folder. And in there, make sure you make a file called main.lua. Remember that Corona, when you're using it, um, main.lua is the main file that Corona will read to, to load a project. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up a main.lua file. And what we're going to do is we're just going to paste that code that we copied and we just hit save, control S is save, and then we go to the Corona simulator. <coughs> we hit file, open project, 
we go to that drawing mechanic folder, we open up main.lua, and there you go. You've got a very simple drawing app, um, and you can use this for whatever you want to use it for. Uh, very simple, uh, gets the job done. Now let's actually walk through some of the code to see what's going on. So if you go at the very bottom of the code, you'll see that uh, there's a touch event that's added to the whole screen, you know, add event listener touch, which calls the new line function. So new line function, let's go up here to new line right here. And this new line function has a mini function called draw line, right? But what's also interesting is that this new line function gets called and on, a, on every touch event. So when the player actually touches the screen, there's a begin event, right? A begin event. And what happens there is what we do is we say, you know what, if they've began it, we're going to add the point you know, where they've touched, and we're going to insert that into a table because we're going to store that. Because once they move around, we're going to store where, they've, where they're actually moving around. And then what we're going to do is we're going to call that mini function called draw line. And what draw line will do is it'll take those two points, you know, from where they began and where they're moving around, and it'll draw a new line. You know, display.newLine is one of those Chrome SDK functions that makes it really easy to draw a line on the screen. Um, and that's pretty much it. Uh, so it's very simple, and um, what we can do now is we can play around with it. So you know that line that's being drawn? What we can also do is we can say, um, let's just uh, let's have a random line color. So we're going to do for the set color, colon set color, we're just going to do math.random between 1 and 255 for the R value, uh, math.random between 1 and 255 for the G value, and math.random between 1 and 255 for the B value. I'm going to hit control save. I'm going to go to the Corona simulator again. Hit the uh, file relaunch. And there you go. Now it's drawing random colors in the line. And this is kind of fun for kids and stuff like that. So there you go. Very simple concept. Uh, but it's a very fun concept for both kids and adults alike. Kids like freeform drawing, but uh, adults, you know, if you give them kind of a directed drawing, like what, uh, you know, what, as I kind of alluded to before, draw something does, which is pretty much telling people, okay, draw this specific thing, draw this um, mountain or potato chip or whatever else. That directed drawing gives adults a kind of a reason to keep drawing or a purpose or a goal, which makes it more fun for them. So, you know, feel free to figure out a way to use this mechanic uh, in your own game. Uh, thanks again. Enjoy. Uh, post comments and feedback in the uh, comment section below and let me know uh, what you'd like to see or what kind of tutorial you'd like to see next. Till next time, take care.